Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like. Now back to the news. Former President Donald Trump made a post-court visit Tuesday to the Manhattan Bodega, where Cork Jose Alba infamously stabbed an ex-con to death in self-defense two years ago, a case that drew widespread outrage after he was initially charged with murder, with the city native vowing to straighten New York out. The Republican presidential contender stopped by the Sanaa Convenience Store, formerly known as the Blue Moon Convenience Store, in Harlem, to meet with the store's co-owner Maud Ahmed and small business advocate Francisco Mart. You should be allowed to have a gun. If you had a gun, you'd never get robbed, you'd never get robbed, that would be the end of it, Trump told the bodega workers. Ahmed told the former president that the store is still grappling with rampant crime, which appeared to shock the law and order politician. What you do? Isn't it crazy? Is it almost a way of doing business, you getting robbed? Trump asked. Ahmed agreed that criminals would respect the store if he kept a firearm on hand, and indicated that he would apply for one at Trump's suggestion. Alba's attorney, Rich Cardinale, warned Trump, however, that using the weapon could land the workers in the same situation that his client faced in the 2022 incident. If you use a gun and you're defending yourself lawfully, you will go to jail. While the murder charges against Alba were later dropped following growing pressure from the public, the worker was so traumatized he went back to the Dominican Republic, where he remained on Tuesday, sources said. I have never voted, because I've been working, but this time I will. We need Donald Trump back in the White House because he's a strong guy, said Ahmed, an immigrant from Yemen and U.S. citizen, told the Post ahead of Trump's arrival. What happened to Jose was very hard for me. Jose was defending himself from the guy who came behind the counter. All for one dollar worth of chips Ahmed, 36, said. When asked by the Post how he would make the data safer, Trump said it would boil down to allowing the NYPD to do their jobs. Every week they're being robbed two or three times, it's crazy. You know what? The police can stop it, but they have to be allowed to do their job, the ex-president said. You have to stop crime and we're going to let the police do their job. They have to be given back their authority. We're making a big play in New York. I love this city and it's gotten so bad in the last three years, four years, and we're going to straighten New York out. Trump also skirted questions about his own criminal trial, saying that the real crime was happening in bodegas which he blamed on Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. Alvin Bragg does nothing, he goes after guys like Trump who did nothing wrong. Violent killers and murders, there are hundreds of murders all over the city.